Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to 0 for, from the right hand side. So press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, remember remember that um, if you have a, so, a unit circle where the radius is 1, let's say this angle here is theta, the height here will be, will be sine theta. Uh, this length here, the hypotenuse, will be, well, it's a circle, radius 1. This one here would be cos theta. So if you look at this uh, cosecant, well, this is uh, sine here. Cosecant would be u going the other way. So it would be 1 divided by sine. It would be 1 divided by sine. Cotangent, or tangent would be, would be this. Cotangent would be, would be cosine, cosine divided by sine, divided by sine. And then your cos, let's just rewrite as that. So now, um, now we're here. Now we're here. Um, now just just times top and bottom here by by uh, sine x, uh, and then uh, and then this whole thing here will become this. All the all the denominators are the same, so you can merge all the fractions together. That will then take you to here. Now let's check as x tends to um, tend to zero from the right hand side. Um, this thing here will head towards one. Uh, this thing here this thing here is going to be zero. Um, so zero times anything is going to be zero. So so we here we've got zero over zero. So over zero is an indeterminate form. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So uh, differentiate. So applying L'Hopital's rule, differentiate this. That will then give us this whole thing here. Differentiate this. That will then give us this thing here. Um, when when you come to differentiate this, differentiate this. That will then give you a minus sign, but because you've got another one here, that will give you a positive sign. Here you've got to use the um, the product rule. So uh, differentiate this, leave this alone. So that will then give you this, leave this alone, and then you've got uh, you've got plus, and then uh, leave this alone, uh, and then differentiate this. But then that will give you a minus a minus a minus and a plus. It, it becomes blah blah blah. Um, differentiate this, it will then give you this whole thing here okay so now um, now as x tends to uh, to zero this thing here from the right hand side this thing here will be uh, will be one and then uh, this is going to be zero this is going to be zero uh, this one times one that will be one so the limit here is uh, is one okay so if you get a graph plotter and plot it as as you head towards uh, towards it from the right hand side it is heading towards one. Okay, so that's your limit. So now next question. So find the limit of this as x tends to zero. So uh, so press pause and have a go. Okay, this one this one looks scary, but it is actually quite straightforward because because you um you gotta you gotta memorize this really. Um, as you re remember from our section on linear approximation, if you have a sine graph, we can approximate a sine graph. To a, to a straight line and it turns out that the equation of this straight line is y equals x so near 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 x equals zero what uh, sine whatever would be whatever so so rather than using sine of x we would just use x when when you're approaching uh, zero here so uh, so if you have some if you have something like um, sine uh, 3x to the power of 7 rather than using this whole thing here we would just use 3 uh, x to the power of 7 this thing here would be easier to deal with than this so um, well when you take the limit as x tends to 0 you are near x equals 0 anyway so so you can you can just re replace this whole block here with this block here okay because because near x equals 0 sine 3 x would just be whatever that thing is 3 x so uh, so this so we we'll replace this block here with this, and then this stays the same, and then uh, this stays the same, and then here um, near x equals zero, you can replace this with just x because you know uh, sine of x is is pretty much the same as um, as as x, and then this bit here, this block here, you can replace it with whatever's in here, so that's two x here. So now tidy this up. So now tidy this up, these two cancel out. Um, that will give you this. Uh, this times this will give you this. 
So now as x approaches 0, the limit will be a half. So if you get a graph plot and so plot the, um, the graph, it will, um, it will head towards, towards a half here. And then from the right hand side, it's heading towards a half. This thing here is a half. Okay?